which is able to take about 16 pairs of adult shoes or more depending on sizes and then also about seven or eight pairs of baby shoes so uh, i saw this project on the internet i was looking through um, the internet to see ideas on diy shoe racks i came by a couple of them but i was very um, fascinated or i did like this um, design so i decided i was going to build this and i want sandy I decided to you know, um, go through the process and then have it built too. So I'm going to take you through the process. That is how I went about it, um, what I did before you know, started everything. So that in case you want to try it out, you're also able to do the same. So without not talking further, let's get into the video. So these were made with pallets, um, known as the packing case, which are mostly used in shipping containers to ship items. Um, some come in different sizes, but for this specific ones are uh, 3 inches. So I'll take you through the sizes and then uh, we, from there we take a look at the process. Um, these are in 3 different sizes. So if you look closely, you notice that uh, these are different sizes. This is the biggest. Uh, after that we have this and this and then finally we have this. Now when I plan on doing this, I initially wanted to do the length 30 inches. And I noticed 30 inches was well, going to be a little bit small. So I decided to make it 3 feet. So that is the total length for this. And then for this also, it's um, 12 inches or 1 foot. So this is 3 inches. That is the height of this particular wood. And then the length is 3 feet. And then I divided this into 2 to give me this. So this is 1.5 inches. Um, as you can see that, and then this is also 3 inches over here. So I use 3 of these um, lengths or this size, so 1 here, 1 here, 1 is behind. And then this was divided, this was divided into 2 to give me this for this section. So yeah, let's go through the sizes again. This is 3 feet, um, this is 3 inches, this is 1.5 inches, this is 3 feet. Um, this is 3 feet, the base or the one behind also is 3 feet and then this is 12 inches. Now, with what I saw online, it had a carbon by complete carbon base. But when I was building, I decided to leave some spaces. The reason is because, you know, with our, you know, the nature of our roots and yeah, outside our environment, once you walk, it's able to, your foot is able to collect some dust. Once you bring it in here, there's chances or high chances of having that settling in and if you want to clean it, having a complete bead is going to be making it difficult too. With this, it's easier to use brush to just, you know, clean it out so it falls out and then it just keeps coming. Now, if you notice, as I was mounting this, I drew the wall, it brought about some dust or even sand and after that, I had to use just brush to, you know, clean it all out. So like I was saying, these are three different sizes. We've spoken about this. Now, this is of the same length as this. Uh, this is also 3 inches, this is 1.5, this is 3 inches, this is 3 inches. However, this is 10 inches, so I reduce this by 2 inches. This is 12 inches, I made this 10 inches. So you notice that this is able to hold, um, you know, normal size shoes. And then the base is also the same. This and this are of the same size, so 10 inches, 10 inches. And then this is 8 inches, I reduce this by 2 inches as well to give me 8 inches. The idea is to be able to place it out. Uh, small size shoes, especially our baby shoes or our son shoes. Um, yeah, yeah, so that's how come this is the smallest. Now I noticed also for this, I didn't have the bar, this bar in front here because of the size of it. So it's just this and then this behind here. So this is 1.5 inches and then this is 3 inches. This is 3 inches and then there's also 1.5 inches in it. Now when mounting this, I allowed a space of 5 inches between them. So there's equal um, spaces between them. The reason is because if uh, space is too tight, when I'm trying to put in shoes, you struggle a little bit. So I allow five inches and then I mount it straight uh, with the help of my level. So this is like straight on the wall as well as it's straight in line with the other. So that is with the size, that is uh, the material that was used. I also use nails. So we'll take a look at all the processes and then the materials that were used. Um, and build it. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. 